Hey guys, Barry here with Geek Out Studio, and I get asked this question quite a bit. Um, basically, in person, in panels, so it's something I'm uh, really am going to start uh, bringing up in panels and everything, and that is how do I scale and size and proportion my props? Because uh, it's kind of a, a personal thing with me is that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really do think that uh, to make a really great costume uh, and to have it stand out, if you have a correctly uh, sized and proportioned prop, that is really just going to um, really make the costume come together as a whole and um, help it stand out. Um, conversely, in my mind, if you have a prop that is out of scale and out of proportion, it it is uh, easily noticed. Even if a person doesn't know the character you are cosplaying, the human eye and brain will be able to correlate that that your prop is wonky. It, it's not right. So, uh, off of that. Today I'm going to show you how I actually scale my props and um, and in some cases how I actually make the templates for them. And for that I use a program called uh, Google SketchUp. It's free um, and it's kind of a, actually a three-dimensional uh, program that you can use to make uh, basically like four plans, buildings, and other three-dimensional uh, objects, but uh, today we're going to look at how we just uh, use it to make, you know, uh, scaled uh, props and templates. So, when you start uh, Google SketchUp, you'll get this, um, it'll ask uh, to choose a template, and if you're in the, uh, the U.S., um, here in the States, I just... Uh, simple template where it's feet and inches and start using. Um, so as you can see it's you've got uh, you know three-dimensional ac uh, axis but again uh, we're just going to try and simplify this so to start off with I get the uh, little eraser uh, eraser button right here uh, or you can hotkey E uh, and get rid of this guy. Um, that'll help uh, with other things. So now that we've gotten that, uh, generally I go to this. This is a top-down perspective. So now we're looking uh, straight down. Another thing you want to uh, take care of, and this will help in um, the uh, printing aspect is to click off perspective. Uh, so now you pretty much have just a two-dimensional straight down view. Uh, now to actually start making our props and uh, scaling them everything, you'll want to uh, pick the uh, the line tool. Again, you can just uh, hotkey L uh, and pick a point and start a line. Now if you look carefully down in the lower right hand uh, corner of the screen right above uh, where it says the uh, time and everything you uh, you can see that there is we start getting a length of the line. Now you could sit here and you know hand draw it out to your um, exact measurement um, but what I do is and what you can do too is just type in and you don't have to click anywhere or anything just start typing for this project we're going to do a five foot three inch person and you see you now get a line that is automatically five foot three inches tall uh, next we're just going to take a take a line uh, draw it out um, from here uh, and then we could use this red line but I'm going to draw another line same distance 
this is your um, your framing so the vertical line is giving you your height <clears throat> these two um, horizontal lines are basically going to be um, uh, frame lines guidelines for uh, getting your character in place so we're going to now we're going to actually import a reference uh, picture of the character that uh, that we're working on so go to file import and for this one I'm uh, I got a friend that's doing uh, Straya from Sword Art Online so we're going to import her now this isn't going to be how it's going to uh, come in you're actually going to once you click you can and now you can see what these uh, two horizontal lines are is the top line I'm going to line up with basically what is the crown of her head so that looks to be about right but I'm going to grab this um, pan tool this hand tool and what you don't want to do is you do not want to get a line <clears throat> a measurement from the toe uh, because that's not your actual height so what I'm oh, sorry we're going to need the move tool you're going to want to bring it down to right about where her heel is or where your uh, where the character's heel is because that is your height because you can see this character is wearing heels so if we were to measure her at five foot three and then you scale this and everything and then get in what these look like four inch heels or so you're throwing your measurements off so we're taking it down to about where you think the heel is which that looks about right now you can see that we've we're not in line with our crown so we just get the uh, scale tool right here and it's just a matter of stretching it there we should now have a fairly accurate scaled image <clears throat> for this character and you can double check that by clicking the measuring tape and just clicking and you can see five foot three give or take and we can get a measurement on this sword from this tip we got a 5 foot and 11 16th long sword so that is um, generally how uh, you can get an idea on uh, scale now that we have a overall idea of the height and basic dimensions of both uh, the character who you will be cosplaying as and the uh, the prop <clears throat> excuse me I'm going to show you how we actually how I actually go about in uh, making the templates now for this what you want to do is you will actually want to uh, create a few uh, layers uh, make sure that you name them so for uh, one layer I'm calling it the reference which will be the image that you see and the other layer is the template which is what you will be making now to uh, simply add um, add a particular object to a layer all you have to do is right click uh, pick entity info and you can see up here layer and you can uh, add it to any one of those particular layers uh, and then later on what we'll uh, be able to do is we can make one of them uh, invisible so all you will see is your template afterwards 
Uh, so let's bring this out. Now, what you will actually uh, have to be doing is um, actually draw the prop. Uh, so for this, we'll start with uh, just a just to kind of and now you'll see that as we zoom in it's going to uh, pixelate uh, and things like that so the best idea is to just simply go just to the other side of that uh, that pixel line so for this we'll uh, I'm using the line tool just draw line If it'll cooperate, there we go. Got a new one. just have to kind of tinker with it. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you'll just progress uh, through the whole template to draw it out as best you can. Now this looks like she might have it kind of Uh, rotate it so you have to probably go back and just kind of clean up the lines a little bit as you can see this one's kind of way off but I'll get uh, I'll finish this uh, this up and be back in a moment to kind of show you everything uh, put together and what it will uh, what the actual template will look like then. Now that we have the uh, template uh, traced out, you can see that uh, the object turns basically a pale uh, blue. Uh, looking at it, I kind of realize now that she's holding it slightly oblique, so one side uh, is not um, particularly even, but for the sake of this um, this tutorial, it, it'll work out. And like I said, you can disappear the layer, so there will be your template. Now, for uh, when you actually go to uh, print it, uh, one other thing you will want to do is zoom extends. So this pretty much uh, will center it. Uh, this uh, doing this will eliminate some of the uh, uh, blank pages that uh, that you might get um, printed out. Uh, I go ahead and uh, delete my draw lines uh, since I, I don't really need them anymore. Uh, again, hit the zoom extent. There you have it centered. Uh, this should eliminate some of the uh, blank pages that you uh, will show up. So then all you have to do is go to file, print, uh, uncheck the use model extent and this will then print it to one inch one inch so it will be it will print it to scale uh, and then with like any other large template you'll just have to kind of uh, piece it together like a puzzle uh, so that's um, that's really all there is to it. Um, if you're unhappy with uh, with this, you can uh, you can go and kind of uh, straighten up uh, the lines themselves. Or uh, since we now know the length of the sword is five foot and 11, 11 sixteenths, we can find a reference picture of just the sword and basically do everything 
that I've showed you, but with just the sword, we'll have a you know a true face-on uh, perspective. So, anyways, that's uh, that really is all there is to it for uh, kind of uh, creating your own uh, templates and how I do it. I am by no means a uh, Google SketchUp um, expert, so you know a lot of this was learned through uh, trial and error. But uh, if you do have any uh, questions or comments, uh, leave them in the uh, comment section below. If you are a Google SketchUp uh, uh, expert and you know better ways to do it um, or saw mistakes, uh, please uh, leave leave a comment. <coughs> uh, I and everybody else would love to learn from uh, from that uh, or a video response. Uh, as always, be sure to like the video if, uh, if it helped you. Um, be sure to subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos next time.